Hello, Yawning Angel back again with another Final Writer video. Yes, this video I'm following up on my previous Final Writer video, link up here, uh, where I got a boxed copy of Final Writer and installed it on my A1200 from floppy disk. We had version 2 we installed and then I upgraded it to version 4 and that worked really well. That video proved to be quite popular and has generated a number of comments and it's one of those comments which has triggered this video. So the comment I received was, can you print from it is the next challenge. And I thought to myself, do you know what? Challenge accepted. I'm going to try and create a document in Final Writer on my Amiga and print it out. Well, that's not much of a challenge, is it? But it is when you consider I don't actually have a printer attached to my Amiga. I have a daily driver computer and that's my Apple Mac and I have a printer attached to that. So it got me thinking, can I create a document on here and print it via my Mac out onto a modern printer? So that's the challenge and that's what I'm going to do in this video and take you through the steps and show you how I did it. So here's what we're going to do. Create a document in Final Writer on the Amiga. Save it as a postscript file. Save that file to external storage. Transfer file to modern machine, convert file and print. Uh, here I am in Final Writer version 4, blank document. I've got this in PAL high res mode. I can't have it in my double PAL mode because the OSSC doesn't like it, so we'll make do with just PAL high res. So, quick mouthful of tea. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Right, so what I'm going to do, I've already created a document and I'm going to open that up now. Load this in. So this is one I created earlier um, because this, uh, this video is about me printing the document, not actually creating it. So it's uh, got some graphics, actually it's got quite a lot of graphics in it, um, and some text and some colors and all the rest of it. And it takes a while to move through because these images on here, they're 64 color images. Yeah, you know, I didn't hang about. I just thought, let's just chuck everything at it. Uh, let me bring that up to full res, uh, not full res, full size, sorry. So here we go, printing from Final Writer in 2023. Put an exclamation mark in there. Um, scroll down, machine buffers a little bit. Is it even possible without a printer connected? Well, yes it is. That's what this video is about. Uh, what I've got here is some graphic. I've got a, another sort of just a color block in the background there. This text here, these are text boxes. So, and of course the text boxes you can rotate and move around to your heart's content. Give it a bit of uh, give it a bit of a, a different look and feel, which is quite nice. And I've used different fonts in these as well, just to show you what can be done. So as you can see, these are individual images, uh, individual objects on the screen. So yes, it is quite easy. Uh, it's painfully easy, actually. <laughs> right. So here's our document all done. So what I'm going to do is let's just save that again, because I've just put an exclamation mark in there. And now what I'm going to do is print this, but I'm going to print it to a file and I'm going to print it to a postscript file. In essence, I'm saving it as a postscript file. So there's no physical printer connected. There is no printing happening from this machine. So what I need to do now is go up here and go to print. And in the print document dialog box, uh, there's usually, it'll default to this, to graphic, uh, settings graphic, print to graphic final. Clicking on this print to, we can go to uh, Postscript File, which we've selected there. We've got our settings here. So I click on Postscript. This is the settings for the Postscript document. I've kind of left these as default, although the Postscript driver on the Amiga I did fiddle with to get the page to line up. Your mileage may vary depending on what, on what drivers you've got, but I've kind of left this as it is. So that's okay. So uh, we're gonna to go to a postscript file and now I'm going to hit the print button and it's choose a postscript file. Now this is the one I've already done because I have played around with this to test. So um, what I'm gonna do now is let's change that to four and this is gonna save this in my final writer documents uh, directory. 
So this will now save that. So if I hit uh, OK, and that'll do the do, and it says it's printing the document, but what it's actually doing is creating the PostScript file. So we'll just wait for it to do that. It's quite a big document. Right, that has done, and as you probably noticed, all the colors have gone weird. And that's basically, it's just a, a memory management thing. So yeah, don't worry if things go a little bit odd at this point, your document should be okay. So let's go and find that document on the hard drive now. Right, so uh, here we are back on Workbench, and I've got my compact flashcards uh, in the PCMCIA slot. I've got my Final Writer Documents folder here, and I've got a folder here uh, which is on the card, so the files that I transfer to the Mac. So here's my Final Writer Print Doc 4 postscript file. So I'm going to grab that and dump that into there, and there we go. So I can close that off now. Brilliant. So that file now exists in the card, so I can now transfer this over to the Mac, and we'll do that next. Right, so all we're going to do now is just remove that from the PC MCIA slot, and quickly just pop that in my CF card reader, and transfer that file over. I've got my uh, compact flash card is in. There's my uh, transfer folder. There's my two Mac folder. And here are the files. Well, here is the postscript file. My Mac thinks it's an, Affin an Affinity Publisher file, which it isn't. So uh, what we need to do now is take this postscript file and convert it to a PDF. Uh, the reason for doing this is because I haven't got a postscript printer, basically, so I'm going to print, convert it, sorry, to a format that I can print from. In this instance, PDF. So to do this, I found a utility uh, called PS to PDF, which I'm going to fire up now. And what this does, it will take a postscript file and it will convert it to a PDF. So what I'm going to do uh, is select this file. Actually, before I go any further, what I will say, I'll put a link in the uh, description down below as to where you can obtain this uh, program to, to download and run. It's really lightweight and it's all legit and kosher, so you can give it a go. Right, so I'm going to select uh, this. Let me just make sure I'm in the right place. Compact flashcard transfer to Mac. Yeah, and I'm going to select that postscript file. Select choose, and what it does, it does the conversion. And there we go, there is the PDF file, which I can now preview. And look at that, that is the document that we had on the Amiga in Final Writer. How good is that? I'm telling you, I'm really excited about that. That is fantastic. So now we have this as a PDF, we should be able to print it. So let's give that a try. Right. So if I double click on this, that'll fire that into preview. There's the document there. Now I'll just do command P to print, brings up my print dialog box, and I'm ready to go. Check it out, it printed. Look at that, we've got a printed hard copy of what appears on the screen on the Amiga, and I'm really pleased with that. I'm gonna take that as a result. Did I cheat? Yes, I did, I cheated hard. Uh, exporting the file out as a PostScript file, moving it onto the Mac, converting it from PostScript to PDF, and then printing the PDF. Absolutely cheated a bit, but you know, the challenge was, can you print from Final Writer off of the Amiga? Uh, in the modern age? Well, I'd like to think, yes, I can, albeit in a bit of a roundabout way. So I will take this as a success. 
and that is it for another video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really hope you've got something out of this. If you'd like some more Final Writer videos, please leave comments down below and I'll see what I can do. The next video I've got lined up, I'm back on the Amos wagon and we're going to be looking at a sound in Amos, but at a very basic level. So that's something to look forward to. Don't forget also, shameless plug time, I write Amos tutorials for Amiga Addict magazine. This is issue 24. Issue 25 is due out November the 16th, as far as I'm aware. So uh, check out uh, the world's best current Amiga magazine. Oh, is that controversial? Um, I'm not being paid to say this. I'm just promoting my work in another publication. It's worth checking out if you can. Right, uh, I can be found on my website. Uh, I can be found on the social media channels. There'll be a list scrolling up the screen now. Uh, I can also be found on Ko-fi. So if you'd like to support my work, head on over there and see what that's all about. But uh, for that, that's pretty much it for now. So thanks once again for watching. Look after yourselves and whatever you do, keep it retro.